Today's video is a special one because if you are someone who watches most of my videos, you may remember a video where I dyed a lot of feathers <laughs> nearly a year ago. In this video I made some designs for dresses and I asked you which dress you like the most and that I want to make it into a doll, which took me until now. I may have had a little dispute with myself about which doll to use. Of course, at this point, the dress was already sewn. The dress? The dress was already sewn. And, um, yeah, I could compare it and I really wanted to use Spectra, but again, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Because there is one aspect I hate when it comes to Spectra, and that is the clear hands. <sighs> I am not sure. I don't really like them, and I hate to use um, normal acrylic paint on dolls because I always have the problem that it chips. I haven't found a solution, and with uh, as with so many stuff it seems that the solution that works for everybody else isn't working for me i'm not sure if it is because of temperature environment whatever too much humidity i'm not sure but it is with a lot of stuff that i have the feeling it doesn't work as well as for other ones but, uh, or as for other doll artists, yeah? So just that you know what I'm talking about. But doesn't matter. In the end, I did use Spectra and Spectra. Spectra. <laughs> and I rerouted her with some darkness nylon hair. I think it's called darkness. It was from the Doll Emporium. And, yeah, I really love this color. It's so pretty. This bluish-black, I really like it. Yeah, the reroute process was a thing on its own. As always, I it took me hours. And as you maybe or may have already noticed, the background is just a piece of wood on my bed. <laughs> Because I have my PC at the end of my bed, and I watch Netflix and stuff like that from my PC <laughs> while being in bed, and I always do something, and this time it was rerouting the doll, and because I, most of the time I don't record it, I wanted to record it this time, and that is why you get this strange footage, uh, footage from it. <laughs> As so many dresses, this one again was made while I was with my mom. Just to give an explanation, when I'm with my mom, I don't have a lot of other stuff to do, so I make dresses and a lot of times dresses that are far more complex than I would have the patience to do when I am at home. <laughs> because at home there are 10,000 other things I can do. <laughs> so, I tend to make dresses when I'm with my mom because this way we get some more elaborate stuff. If you saw my last Instagram post, you know what I mean. I insert the dress I made last time when I was with my mom here. <laughs> and yes, it took me four days alone to put the beads on, so <laughs> it takes some time just to mention it, yeah. Um, and with this dress for this particular doll, we had all the feathers that we needed to put on. And I first tried to stitch them on by hand and that did not work. And then I took them to the sewing machine and 
stitched each and every little feather on with the sewing machine. It was great. When everything was done, I put it together and noticed, yeah, the sleeves are not working. <laughs> In the original design, I made some wider sleeves, but yeah, because it's a doll, it's tiny, it did not work. So I had to change the sleeves to more, let's say, Edwardian, Victorian sleeves, these big poofy ones, and I do like the choice. I think in the end it really suits her a lot better than these, yeah, mo more open feather uh, feathery sleeves. And because we all know I prefer to play it safe, <laughs> the color palette for this doll, again, is basically the same as you have in the dress. I am always a little bit too concerned about choosing colors that might not be that great together. <laughs> so my choices are most of the time really safe choices. <laughs> and when I go out of my comfort zone, I'm not sure. I, I do feel most of the time I overdo it. So, <laughs> here is me playing it safe again. Normally, when I do the repaint, I, again, play it very safe. I like to think about it as I want the dress to be the main showstopper, but I guess it's basically, I fear that I will ruin everything when I put on too much makeup. And I have to admit, I don't like that much of elaborate eyeshadow stuff, and yeah, I think it looks too much quite fast. When I uh, was trained as a hairdresser and had to make the decisions on which makeup I had to do for yeah the uh, how is it called? For the tests at the end. Um, I uh, yeah we had to do a very elaborate very over-the-top style and I very much hated it and because of that I am not doing <laughs> makeup things like that on my dolls. Only on some specific ones. And to come to the point again, <laughs> or back to the doll, for her I wanted her to look very mysterious and yeah pretty fancy and stuff like that, fantasy-like-esque, fantasy you know what I mean. And because of that, I tried to make a gradient from a dark blue, similar to her hair, to a more pinkish at the cheeks, and then make the her eyes as dark as possible, so that in the end, the uh, light reflections look a bit like stars in the darkness of the night sky. Gosh, was that poetic, wasn't it? <clears throat> yeah, that is why I decided to make the repaint this way. Ta-da, ta-da. And something I tried this time was to put a bit more effort into the repaint, put more layers on and yeah, be a little bit more detailed. I'm not sure if it is obvious, but I think she turned out quite nice.
And of course it was time for my most hated part of every repaint, the lashes. I am still not that good friends with lashes. I'm not sure why. This time, because of all the black, you are not able to see where I messed up. And I do think I didn't mess up that much, but... <laughs> yeah. Um, the darkness of the eyes and the eyeshadow helps quite a lot this time. And I think we can consider this the first and the only life hack that you will ever get from me. Then, like so many times before, she was stitched into her dress as well. Because I normally do think that when a doll is stitched into her clothing, they, uh, it is not as easy to mess the clothing up. But this time I was very able to mess it up. Because, <laughs> let me explain. I decided to stitch the bodice and the skirt together while it already was on the doll. And I did check if the skirt is still centered and it was but when I ha was done stitching everything together it was not <laughs> so yeah the skirt is a little bit off center in the end of the video and in the photos <laughs> because I couldn't be bothered <laughs> but I think someday <laughs> Someday I might change it, because every time I look at her, I think, or I'm annoyed about the not-centered skirt. <laughs> Things you get for being lazy. Ugh. Yes. But anyway, I had her dressed and put the hat onto her and thought... She really does look quite similar to the sketch. And with that, I was really proud of her. And when I opened her hair burrito, I was like, I do like her with just open hair, but I know, I'm not sure why. I decided she needs an updo because she has a ball gown, so she needs an updo. Yeah, I struggled a lot again, <laughs> but in the end I, yeah, made one of these turning into each other in itself things and put everything into a ponytail and I was quite happy with it. I admit, I think she looked a little bit more gentle and softer with the open hair but there was the problem because the hair was so dark and the sleeves and the top neck piece of her dress that yeah I had the feeling you wouldn't be able to completely see where the hair ends and where the dress starts that was why I decided she needs an up to and yeah, everything with a bun or stuff like that looked too, too, too put together, too, yeah, not gentle enough. I don't have the word for uh, at the moment for someone who is the opposite of, uh, dainty and gentle. Um, anyway, I do feel the ponytail was not the worst decision, but could be improved. Because I thought it was a bit boring, I stitched some 
Um, gosh, pendants. Some tiny pendants that I had laying around into her hair at the hairline. And I think that gave her something a bit more... Yeah, gentle, a bit more special. And I was just happy that after <laughs> nearly a year, I had finished this doll. I hope that you like how she turned out and that you might even have enjoyed this video a teeny tiny bit and that we will see us in another one. So, enjoy the last pictures of her. Let me know what you think about her in the comments below. If you like to, like this video, subscribe to my channel, do all that strange stuff that I never really talk about, and have a great time. We will see us. Bye.